Let's see if anyone comes in. Not looking like it. Looks like we have one, Javon. Maybe. All right, I'm gonna share my screen and I'll do my um, quick little intro and then away we go. Welcome to College to Career Fairs and our virtual exploration. We want to thank you for being here today and remind you that we are in webinar format. What this means is our presenter cannot see you or hear you. Your microphone has been muted and your video is not currently working. For this reason, you cannot use the hand raise option because we won't be able to see you to recognize a hand raise. So if you would like to ask a question during the presentation, please use the Q&A button in the toolbar at the bottom of your screen. We are recording this session. You will find it on the College to Career Fairs Connect.org page in about a week. And we want to encourage you, if you have a great session, please go back to College to Career Fairs Connect and join some of our other sessions. We'd love to have you and please tell your friends. And now I'm gonna turn the presentation over to Nazareth. All right, thank you so much. Uh, so welcome, my name is Sarah Gibson. I am an Associate Director for Admissions at Nazareth College. I actually am based out here in California. I am based in Culver City. Um, and I work with all of our students from the West Coast who are interested uh, in coming out to Nazareth. So I was campus based for about two and a half years and I've been out here on the West Coast for about a year and a half now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen, um, share a short presentation with you um, to give you some facts and figures about Nazareth and a little background and then we'll have the opportunity for a Q and A uh, afterwards. All right, it's going here. Okay, perfect. So I will share uh, my contact information at the end, but um, I'll, I'll just show you there. That's my name, Sarah Gibson. We are located in Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York is the third largest city in New York State. Um, and it is about uh, halfway between Buffalo and Syracuse. So if you've heard of Niagara Falls, um, we're about an hour and a half away from there. So I'm gonna start with a few surprises about our campus. So um, the first thing is that we actually have a campus tunnel system that connects all of the buildings on campus. So that may sound a little bit creepy at first, I promise it is not. They are literally just hallways um, that are running between our buildings. They just happen to not have windows because they're underground. Um, but that is how our students get from building to building. So when it is cold, it does get cold in Rochester, we do get snow. Um, but the great thing is that you don't have to go outside to get to your classes. You can literally roll out of bed and throw on shorts and flip flops and walk to your class. So pretty cool fun fact about us. Second is you may have thought from our name that we are religiously affiliated. We are actually not. We were founded as a Catholic school back in the 20s, but we haven't had any specific religious affiliation since the 1970s. What's great about our school though is we do have the second largest center for interfaith studies in the country, second to one actually only in California. And what's really great about that is we have the opportunity for lots of people from a lot of different backgrounds, different um, religious practices to be able to practice together, learn about each other's faiths. Um, and we actually have a shared Jewish Muslim prayer space on campus. We have opportunities for the Christian faith, faiths to practice, all different sorts of um, opportunities, uh, partnership with a Hillel in town. Um, so really cool things there. Uh, but again, it's not a requirement in any way, shape or form. The cost of attendance may also be a surprise to you. Um, we are private, so that means it's going to be the same in-state versus out-of-state. You may have heard of private schools and think, well, I can't afford that. Don't believe that, because a lot of times it is not the case. Um, a lot of students find that once you factor in financial aid, the cost of Nazareth ends up being similar to the cost of a UC school. Freshmen can have cars on campus. Again, this may mean nothing to you because you may think, why the heck would I drive my car if I have a car all the way across the country? Um, well, you don't have to, but the nice thing about freshmen having a car on campus is that chances are your roommate uh, or friend or someone else is going to have a car and they can bring you wherever it is you need to go. But the nice thing about Rochester in general is that it is so easy to get around. 
Rochester was actually designed to be kind of the next New York City. Um, so it is the home of Kodak. It's the home of Xerox. Um, it was supposed to be this huge kind of mecca that was supposed to be the size of New York City, but the population never ended up growing to be that size. So because of that, we have this great infrastructure in place. We have an airport, we have a bus system, we have a train system, all of that. Um, we have a ton of parks and, and all these sorts of things that are around the city area, which are really great. And we have this fantastic art scene. So what that means is when you're on campus, you can take a bus for $1 to downtown Rochester. The bus will get you there in 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then you're there, you're right in downtown. But we're in this fabulous suburb. And you can take the bus for a dollar on the weekdays and then it's free on the weekends. But the great thing about our campus too is that we're in the largest suburb of Rochester called Pittsburgh. And it's right on the Erie Canal. So you can walk off of campus five minutes and you can be to a grocery store, you can be to a movie theater, you can be to a Marshall's, a Chipotle, all of those sort of things, which are again, just within walking distance of campus, plus all of the really adorable shops and restaurants that they have right along the canal. And then finally, another surprise about us is that we are test optional. Um, we have been test optional pretty much since test optional started existing. Um, and so that's really cool. And another thing about that is we were, um, up until this year, the only program we required test scores for was our nursing program. But we have gone test optional for that as well this year. So I wanna talk a little bit about some of our notable programs. We have quite a few different majors and programs at Nazareth College, but I wanna highlight some of those that kind of stand out. So we have a very strong environmental science and sustainability program. What I think is unique about that is that combination of the science piece and the sustainability. There's a lot of really great um, experiential learning opportunities that you have within that. It's a big part of what we do in general is experiential learning and making sure that you're getting outside of the classroom so that you can really, um, do a lot of different things and, and get your hands dirty, so to speak. We do have a law program. It's a three plus three law program with Syracuse and Buffalo. So the way that works is you spend three years with us and then you would transition to Syracuse or Buffalo for your last three years. So that means instead of getting your JD in seven years, you actually cut off a full year and you get your JD in six years. In addition though, that's not the only cost savings. Once you transition to Syracuse or Buffalo, you actually get a 50% tuition discount. Then on top of that, you will also potentially qualify for any merit-based scholarships that you may qualify for based off of your academics at Nazareth. So it ends up being really, really cost-effective and Syracuse and Buffalo both have really fantastic law programs. We also have an early acceptance uh, medical and dental school program with LECOM, which is Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Um, now, LECOM um, is in Lake Erie, so it's, it's a really fantastic, um, it's in Pennsylvania, it's a fantastic program, but again, it gives you that option to kind of find out right when you've been admitted to Nazareth, whether or not you've gotten into medical school or dental school. And the great thing about that medical school partnership is you actually don't have to take the MCAT, um, so big bonus there. Um, we also are one of the few schools in the country to offer a music therapy program and one of the few schools in the country to offer a toxicology program. Um, those are both kind of rare majors, but there's a huge demand for them right now. So if you're interested in those areas, really cool things. Uh, musical theater, we have a BFA program, um, which the kind of hallmark of our program is the amount of professional uh, exposure that you get within it. So every single production that we do on our campus that's a musical theater production, it's not directed by a faculty member. It's actually directed by a working professional from New York City. And those working professionals from New York City don't just direct our shows. They come and do master classes on a regular basis. We actually send our students down to New York City um, to work in different theaters. We have a Tepper semester program um, with, uh, with a specific um, program called Tepper, which is in New York City. We also do a London semester program, as well as a London West End summer program, where you get to work with West End professionals. Um, and so I actually chaperoned that program. It was really cool. Um, our students got to work with um, the cast members of Aladdin. They got to do workshops with the cast members of Les Mis, of Waitress. It was really, really cool. We also have a direct entry nursing program, which is not impacted. Not impacted means that you are gonna be able to take all the classes that you need and get into the classes you need to finish that program within four years. We have a fantastic nursing simulation lab on campus and tons of opportunities both in the Rochester area. We have two major hospitals, but also throughout the country and also abroad 
um, to take advantage of the clinical placements um, that we're going to put you in with that nursing program. We have a five-year occupational therapy program, which is a BS to MS program, and then a six-year direct entry, that's direct entry as well, and then a direct entry six-year uh, doctorate of physical therapy program. Um, both of those programs, and including the music therapy and also our speech and language pathology program, uh, actually get to practice within our very own wellness and rehabilitation center on campus. Um, this is a working center, so we have real live patients that are coming into it. And the great thing about working side by side as a physical therapist or occupational therapist with other therapists is that you're getting this collaborative approach to care, um, which is really, really important. So there's a lot of patients that are going to need both physical therapy and occupational therapy. So how do you kind of create this holistic approach to care for that patient? So that's a little bit about some of our programs that we have to offer. So next, I want to just kind of share with you some fun and snazzy, nazzy stats. Uh, so um, we are uh, a small school. So we have about 2,200 undergraduate students and about seven to 800 graduate students. Uh, so what that means is we're very focused on that relationship between the faculty and the student. So the student to faculty ratio you can see there is nine to one. Number of lecture halls on campus, zero. Number of classes taught by TAs, zero. So again, it's about fostering that connection. This is not the sort of place where you can hide or fall through the cracks. Um, but the great thing too is that if you're interested at all in anything I've had to say today, um, we also don't charge an application fee. So it literally costs you nothing to apply to us. And we're on the common application. So if you're filling out the common application anyway, all you have to do is add us as a school and that's all there is to it. It's easy peasy, simple process. So in terms of um, the other zero that you see on this list here, coins required to do laundry, free laundry, always a fun perk as well. Uh, the other thing I do wanna mention here, um, I already talked a little bit about our proximity to the airport. We're only 15 minutes away from Rochester International Airport, but we're actually also halfway, I said between Buffalo and Syracuse, there's an airport in each one of those locations as well. And I can tell you that even though you would have to take a connecting flight from somewhere in California to get to uh, Rochester, there actually is a direct flight from LAX to Buffalo, which is only an hour and a half away. So if you didn't want to have to kind of deal with the whole connection thing, you can get pretty close directly. Um, and then the last thing I kind of want to really highlight, um, you can kind of read some of the other stats that we have here, the really cool fact about our nursing students, um, which uh, if they go study abroad in Finland can apply for licensure to work anywhere in the EU after graduation. But I do want to highlight our career stats. 97% of our students are employed or in graduate school within 12 months of graduation. That's pretty impressive. And the reason for that I believe is because of our, first of all, our approach to experiential learning, but secondly, our career coach. Every single student at Nazareth College, from the minute that you arrive at Nazareth, gets assigned a career coach. And that person is with you. They're your partner in crime from day one all the way through till the time that you graduate, and even thereafter in some cases. And this person is major specific. So they're going to work with you and they're going to know, say that you are a musical theater major, they're going to know how to draft a resume for the musical theater world. They're going to be able to help you um, with interview skills for musical theater, with experiential learning opportunities for musical theater, et cetera, et cetera. But say you're a science major, you're not going to be working with the same career coach as a biology major as you are as a musical theater major. So again, it's this kind of customized approach that you have. They have the connections that you need. They understand what that industry is like for your specific profession and they're gonna help you every step of the way. So it's different than your typical career services office that you would have to go and take the initiative to take advantage of, because this is someone that is assigned to you that you are essentially obligated to see from day one right up until you graduate. So I'll just leave you with a couple more fun facts here. Um, we are very LGBTQ friendly. We're ranked 18th by Princeton Review um, in terms of that specific category. We are a very welcoming campus in that sense. Um, and in all senses, really, um, sort of social justice is a big part of our mission and how we were founded as well. Um, and I believe, um, just kind of going back to the environmental science and sustainability, I believe our green rating is, 80, is sorry, 73. So, um, so pretty good as well. And then you can see there as well, 
We're, our science building, which is called Peckham Hall, is ranked in the top 20 in the US. It's a LEED certified building, which means it meets certain standards for green um, and, and sustainable. It has a living roof and a lot of other cool things like that. And it also has a state-of-the-art cadaver lab. That is disgusting to me. I am not a science person, so I think that's gross. But let me tell you, our science students absolutely love the fact that we have a cadaver lab on campus and not many schools our size can boast that. So right now I'm going to stop sharing my screen because I see that I have a couple questions in here and I am going to try to answer these live. All right. The first question, um, do all majors have the chance to have internships and are they a common part of the educational experience? Yes, every single major um, has the opportunity and most majors are required to do either an internship or a clinical uh, experience. So sometimes it can be an experiential learning opportunity um, and other times it's going to be specifically an internship and other times it's going to be a clinical. But that is absolutely going to be built into every single major and program that we have at Nazareth. Most majors and programs that you have are going to have multiple. For example, our education students uh, are going to be um, placed inside a classroom every single semester from the first semester of their freshman year right up until the point that they do their student teaching in their senior year. So lots of opportunities for that. Average class size is going to be 18 students. We do not have a single classroom that can hold more than 30 students, so you don't have to worry about that. And most classes are going to be smaller than 18 students. All right. So I believe I've covered those questions. What I do want to do just really quickly here as well um, is I am going to share a quick kind of snapshot video of our campus just so that you can get a little sense uh, about that as well. So let me bring that up here. Give me just a moment. And then if anyone does have any more questions at the moment, you can feel free to put those in the chat and I will get to those right after. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. Right, I'm gonna make this bigger. And I apologize, sometimes the sound doesn't work all that well, but you should still get some of the images here. All right. And while we're here, I may as well show the other one, which is just one minute as well. Just a couple more views of the campus. Well, that gave you a little bit more. I apologize that it stopped working there, but oh, and now it's trying to start again. I should pause it. There we go. All 
All right, but to give you a couple more views of the campus. So that is all the information that I have specifically for you this evening. But um, my name is Sarah Gibson. My contact information is right on the website. Like I said, I work with uh, all students that are from um, California. So if you have any questions throughout the process, uh, definitely feel free to get in touch with me. Thank you so much um, for being here. And that's what I have. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. Sarah, thanks so much for sharing that presentation with us and letting us learn more about Nazareth. And we hope students will follow up with you and um, definitely watch the video again if they have interest and reach out to you. I know you usually have your contact information for them there. And students, we want to remind you there will be a quick survey once I end the session. It will just automatically come to you. It's just four questions. We hope if you enjoyed this session that you'll consider coming back for some additional sessions. We have more sessions tomorrow and a few more on Friday. So you can find us at college, the number two, careerfairsconnect.org. Thanks so much and goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's our pleasure. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.